the power of a half means square root. So here's a question that says, find the value of nine to the power of a half. That's the same as saying, find the value of square root nine. So square root nine or nine to the power of a half is equal to three. I'm gonna quickly show you that this works. So if you've got nine to the power of a half and you multiply it by nine to the power of a half, when you multiply indices, you add the powers. So that will give us half plus a half makes a whole. So we've got nine to the power of one, which we can just write as nine. So nine to the power of a half multiplied by nine to the power of a half is equal to nine. And what number multiplied by itself makes nine? That's three. Three times three makes nine. So nine to the power of a half must be equal to three. So all you need to know is that the power of a half means square root. So there's three questions for you to try here. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, the first one, find the value of 25 to the power of a half. So square root 25, that's five. Find the value of 100 to the power of a half, that will be 10. And 64 to the power of a half, that's eight. The power of one third means cube root. So the cube root of 27, the number that multiplies by itself, and then again, to get 27 is three. Three times three makes nine, nine times three makes 27. And again, I'll quickly show you how this works. So 27 to the power of a third times 27 to the power of a third times 27 to the power of a third. So when we multiply, we add the indices. So a third plus a third plus a third makes one whole. So 27 to the power of a third times 27 to the power of a third times 27 to the power of a third makes 27. And what number multiplied by itself and then again makes 27? That's three times three times three. So 27 to the power of a third must be equal to three. So again, what you need to know is the power of a third means cube root. So three questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so 64 to the power of a third. Cube root 64 is four. Four times four is 16. 16 times four is 64. Eight to the power of one third is two. Two times two makes four. Four times two makes eight. And cube root one, two, five, 125 is five. Five times five is 25. 25 times five is 125. Okay, here's a different question. This time there's two parts to it really. Find the value of eight to the power of two thirds. So we've got a three on the bottom which means cube root and there's a two on the top which means square so in this question we're going to cube root eight and then square the answer or we could square first and cube root the answer but usually it's easier to do the root first so if we cube root eight the cube root of eight is two so eight to the power of two thirds is the same 
as 2 squared and we square 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So 8 to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 4. So we had to square and cube root. So three questions for you to try here. Pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, the first one, 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So this time, we've got a square root. We've got a square root, and we've got to cube it. So if we square root first, do the root first. So 9 to the power of 3 over 2. The square root of 9 is 3. So we've got the same as 3 cubed. And 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, 27. Okay, 64 to the power of 2 thirds. So we've got a cube root and square. 64 cube rooted is 4. So we've got 4 squared. And 4 squared is 16. And finally, 25 to the power of 3 over 2. So we're going to square root and cube. So square root first. So 25 square rooted is 5. And 5 cubed, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Here we've got another different type of question. So we've got four ninths to the power of a half. So when we've got a fraction and we've got to do the whole thing to the power of a half, that's the same as square rooting the top and square rooting the bottom. So for four ninths to the power of a half, we square root the top. So the square root of four is two and we square root the bottom. So the square root of 9 is 3. So 4 ninths to the power of a half is 2 thirds. Three questions for you to try. Again, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. So the first one, 27 over 8 to the power of a third. So we're going to cube root the top and cube root the bottom. So the cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of 8 is 2. So we've got 3 over 2. Second one, 64 over 9 to the power of a half. So we're going to square root the top and the bottom. Square root 64 is 8. Square root of 9 is 3. So we've got 8 thirds. And finally, 125 over 64 to the power of one third. So it's a cube root. So cube root the top. 125 cube rooted is five. And 64 cube rooted is four. So we've got five over four. So this time the question says, Find the value of 64 over 27 to the power of minus two thirds. So when we've got a negative in the power, it means find the reciprocal. And that just means flip it over. So find the value of 64 over 27 to the power of minus two thirds. So that means there's three elements. So the over 3, that's a cube root. So we're going to find the cube root. The 2 on top, that means square it. And the minus means find the reciprocal or flip it over. So let's do all of these things. So if we do the cube root first, so we've got 64 over 27 to the power of minus 2 thirds. 
If we find the cube root first, so the cube root of 64 is 4, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So we've got 4 over 3 to the power of minus 2. If we square it now, so 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, and we've still got the negative, and that just means flip it over, find the reciprocal. So 16 over 9 to the power of minus 1 is 9 sixteenths. So two more questions. Again, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so 16 over 25 to the power of 3 over 2. So that means we've got to do a square root. We've got to cube it. And we've got to find the reciprocal or flip it over. So I write 16 over 25 to the power of minus 3 over 2. So I'm going to square root first. So square root 16 is 4. Square root 25 is 5. And then we've got the power of minus 3. And we're going to cube them. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And that's to the power of minus 1. And we're going to flip it over, find the reciprocal, which gives us 125 over 64. The second question, so we've got 125 over 8 to the power of minus 2 thirds. So we're going to cube root this one first. So cube root the top, 125 cube rooted is 5. Cube root the bottom, 8 cube rooted is 2. Then we're going to square the top and the bottom. So 5 squared is 25. 2 squared is 4, and we've got the minus left, so we're going to flip it over, which gives us 4 over 25. Okay, to finish up, we've got three questions here, so give these ones a go, and then press play when you're ready for the answers. Question 1. Find the value of 1 over 27 to the power of 1 third. So this means cube root. So we're going to cube root, well, cube root the top and the bottom. Cube root of 1 is 1. Cube root of 27 is 3. So we've got 1 third. Question 2. This time we've got a square root and a reciprocal and a flip. So 49 over 81 to the power of minus a half is the same as if we square root them first. So square root 49 is 7. Square root 81 is 9. So 7 ninths to the power of minus 1. And we'll flip it over, which gives us 9 sevenths. And finally, question three. So we're going to cube root, square, and flip. So I've got eight over one, two, five, to the power of minus two thirds. If I cube root, that's going to give me two fifths. And I've got the power of minus two left. I'm going to square them. So four over 25. And now I need to flip it over, 25 over 4.